Hello everyone. In this uh, video, I'm going to solve this circuit using the Laplace transform. So we know that before time t equal to zero, the circuit has been in switch. So the switch has been in point A for a long time. When they say for a long time, it means that the circuit has reached the steady state. So when the circuit reached the steady state, we know that some stuff will happen in the circuit um, that we'll talk about like right now. So I need to find, first they said that find I of zero. I is the current passing through the inductor. If we want to know what is the current passing through the inductor, we know that the inductor's current cannot change instantaneously. So we know first, um, I mean, we know these two facts that the inductor current will not change instantaneously and also the voltage across the capacitor will not change instantaneously. So here I have the inductor, so I can use this fact and find I of zero. So when I is not, uh, when the current of the inductor cannot change instantaneously, it means that before time t equal to zero and after time t equal to zero, it means that the instant before time t equal to zero and the instant after time t equal to zero, because we said that the current of the inductor cannot change instantaneously. So the instant before zero and the instant after zero, they will be the same and they're equal to the initial condition of the inductor. So before time t equal to zero, let's see how our um, circuit looks like. So before time t equal to zero, my circuit, the switch is at point A. I mean, has been at point A for a long time. Then we have the current source and clearly the voltage source is out of the circuit because point B is not connected to anywhere. Now, what will the inductor be before time t equal to zero? I said that the circuit has been in point, uh, the switch has been in point A for a long time. So it reached the steady state. So we know that in steady state, the inductor will act as a short circuit. Now, let's say that you forget this. You forget that the inductor will act as a short circuit because the capacitor will act as, a, as an open circuit in the steady state conditions and the inductor will act as a short circuit. Let's say that you confuse this, well, these two. So you can use this. V of T is equal to L di over dt. And we know that when we reach the steady state condition, it means that everything are steady so nothing is changing anymore until we make a change in the circuit so when everything is steady the derivatives are always equal to zero so the voltage will be equal to zero when do we have a voltage equal to zero when we have a short circuit right so i of zero this is i of the instant before t equal to zero because I went to the um, time the before time t equal to zero, right? This is the circuit at that time. So I of zero, uh, the instant before zero clearly is equal to three amp. So this is equal to I of the instant after zero and is equal to I of the zero that I was looking for, three amp. Now, next part of the question, it asks to find I of S, which is the Laplace transform of I of T, the current that is passing through the inductor, at time T greater than zero. So at time T greater than zero, it means that the switch has moved to point B. So when the switch moved to point B, my circuit will change. So point A will not be connected to anywhere. So that um, current source of three amp will be gone, will be out of the circuit, and I will be left with the resistor, the voltage source, and the inductor. This was two, this was one Henry, and two U of T. Now, this is at time t um, greater than zero, but we need to find I of s. So I have to go to the Laplace domain in order to find I of s, right? So what can I do? I can just take everything to the Laplace domain. So I will have my voltage source 
I will have my resistance that will not change in the um, S domain. But for the induc inductor, be careful that the inductor in the Laplace domain should go with its initial condition. So if I want to draw the inductor over here, it will be my inductor in series with the voltage source that is representing the initial condition of the inductor, which is L i of the instant before zero and we know that the inductor will be sl in the um, laplace domain and 2u of t is 2 over s so these two sl is equal to s because l is equal to 1 henry and l i of uh, 0 will be equal to 1 multiplied by 3 will be equal to 3 so now I have to find I of S. I of S is the Laplace transform of I of T. So I have to find the current in this circuit. So do you agree that the equivalent impedance of this circuit is 2 plus S because I have an impedance of the inductor in series with the resistor? So it's S plus 2. Now, I have the impedance, and I have two voltages. When I have here VA, and I have VB, and I have Z in between, how can I find the current in this circuit? It's VB minus VA over Z. So I'm using the same. It's Ohm's law, right? So I'm using the same law to find I of S in this circuit. So I can say that I of S is equal to the voltage across this impedance Z equal. So the voltage is 3 plus 2 over S over that equivalent impedance, which is 2 plus S. So if I simplify this, I'm going to be left with 3S plus 2 over S multiplied by S plus 2. So I found I of S. Now, next part, it asks for V of S. So now I have to find V S, which is the voltage across the um, inductor at, actually in the Laplace domain. Because here I have V of T, if you see over here. So then I'm going to find V of S. We know that the inductor will be represented in S domain as the inductor plus its um, initial condition. By plus, I mean we have to include the initial condition there. So that voltage is this voltage over here, which is the voltage across what is representing the inductor in the S domain. So the voltage here is easy to find because this point I'm saying that this is equal to Vs, and I know that I have I of S over here. So using the Ohm's law, I can find V of S easily. So in this circuit that I have over here, I of S is equal to the voltage across this resistor, which is 2 over S minus V of S over 2. So now, I have I of S. So I can find V of S easily. So this will be represented. We're going to have 2 over S minus V of S is equal to 2 I of S. So from here, V of S will be equal to 2 over S minus 2 I of S. Now I'm going to substitute for I of S. Minus 2 multiplied by what was I of S? Oh, we have it over here. So this is I of S. It's 3S plus 2 over S multiplied by S plus 2. Okay? So now if I take the common denominator over here, I'm going to have S multiplied by S plus 2 in the denominator. Then we have 2S plus 4 minus 6s minus 4. So 4 and negative 4 will be cancelled. So I will have minus 
4s over s multiplied by s plus 2 and now my s's will be cancelled and v of s will be minus 4 over s plus 2 okay so we found i of s we found v of s now next part it asks for i of t so i of t is the current that is passing through the inductor as we had here in our initial circuit um in the uh, sorry in the time domain right i of t is the current passing through the inductor in the time domain i have the current passing through the inductor in the laplace domain so i can take the laplace inverse of i of s in order to find i of t so i have to find the laplace inverse of this transfer function which is 3s plus 2 over s multiplied by s plus 2 okay so let's find the laplace inverse of this um, transfer function so 3s plus 2 over s multiplied by s plus 2 I can write this as a over s plus b over s plus 2 so from here I can find a and b easily because if I take the common denominator of these two I'm going to have a s plus 2a plus s b over s multiplied by s plus 2 that is equal to a plus b multiplied by s plus 2a all of them over s s plus 2 now let's compare this fraction with this fraction so denominators are the same so i have to when the denominators of this are the same and both fractions are equal to each other so the numerators should be the same so what is the fraction of s over here is 3 what is the fraction that i have of s over here is a plus b then what is my constant over here 2 and then the constant over here 2a so i have a two equation two unknown um, for finding a and b so I'm going to equate a plus b to 3 and 2a is equal to 2 so from here a is equal to 1 I'm going to substitute it in this equation so I have b is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 now I am going to take this b and this a So I'm going to take these two and I'm going to put uh, put them in here. So I'm going to have I of S as two individual fractions. So the sum, uh, the sum of two fractions, then I can find the Laplace inverse easily. So this was equal to I of S, right? So I of S is equal to 1 over S plus 2 over S plus 2. So if I want, want to find I of T, is Laplace inverse of these two fractions. Laplace inverse of 1 over s is u of t. Um, sorry, this wasn't equal. Plus, Laplace inverse of 2 over s plus 2 is 2e to the negative 2t u of t. So these uh, can be found, can be find in the Laplace transform table. So now I have I of t. Now in the question, they ask us to find I of zero using the I of t that I just found, and then check it with the I of zero that I found before. So I of zero using this equation is U of zero plus two e to the negative two multiplied by zero, U of zero. So the step function at time t equal to 0 is equal to 1. So this is 1. This is 1. So it will be 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And you can see that this 3 over here is equal to the i of 0 that we found over here. All right? Okay, so I hope you understood this question. If you have any um 
questions or comments you can leave them in the comments down below and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching